Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're looking at Alice Cooper, The Last Temptation by Neil Gaiman. All right, so this is kind of cool. So Marvel Comics did have like this Marvel comic spotlight series, like I think in the 70s. And I remember it's one of the early comic books that my brother had and we just thought it was so cool. It was like Alice Cooper. I don't know if you guys remember that. He's being like taken off to the insane asylum because that was kind of his thing. Alice Cooper, like big, I don't know, you would consider him probably goth by t today's standards, but he did like, I don't know, spooky rock and roll sort of like with the makeup and the horror kind of angle, like, you know, Kiss, and that was popular at the time. So anyway, so, but Marvel had that association with him, and then they also did this one, I guess, uh, for whatever reason. I don't know why they uh, started doing, like, I guess, a music line, but, I mean, if you're going to do it, get, like, a great creative team like this. First of all, you got this great Dave McKeon cover, a uh, frequent collaborator with, Neil Gaiman did, you know, all the covers for Sandman. He does his great, like, mixed media kind of painting and photography and collage art. It just always looks fantastic. I love Dave McKeon's art. You know, I would say that uh, he probably stands on the shoulders of someone like Bill Sienkiewicz a little bit, but um, not to discredit anything he does or what his talent is. But I think that Bill definitely paved the way for sort of those you know, great painted look of comics of and the collage kind of stuff, but very moody, very evocative. I love it. So it's written by Neil Gaiman. It's drawn by Michael Zuli, lettered by the great Todd Klein, and colored by John Killis. Um, so I don't know how long this story ran for or where it went, why it happened, but I kind of got it for nostalgia's sake out of the uh, the old Marvel spotlight. But I thought this would be cool. Anyway, you got this great Michael Zoli art. You know, it's very Vertigo-esque. Like if Marvel was going to do a Vertigo series. I mean, you've got Neil Gaiman and Michael Zuli. Um, I love Michael Zuli's art. It's very appropriate for this. He's using, it looks like uh, he's using the duo shade paper, which is something that... Uh, they used to do in comics that's similar to like a zip -a tone or a screen just to add sort of a gray gradient you know the paper was treated with a chemical and then you would use another chemical with like a brush or something to sort of reveal the pattern and if you go one way it does like one shade and then if you go the other way it does like a double shade so you can add make it lighter or darker depending but it's a very kind of old school technique and it takes a lot of uh patience and talent and just like the pages don't age very well and it's pretty antiquated now I don't know I mean they do a lot of you can do a lot of zipatone on with like uh procreate and photoshop and all that stuff um I don't know if they've perfected like the So I don't know if they've perfected like uh, this exact technique. I'm sure that um, they've had to have done it by now um, as far as uh, computers go. But I mean, I have a real appreciation for the older art that does everything like, you know, uh, manually with pen and paper and ink and all that jazz. So I guess uh, Alice Cooper is like the star of this book and he's sort of like, doing this sort of like a circus freak show or something and luring these young boys into the show. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that seems weird or whatever. Look at this great double page spread with this theater and all the magnificent art. Michael Sully really does great art. I mean, I want to say he must have done Sandman or something. I mean, he's definitely like a vertigo person. 
I think I do remember him doing some stuff for Marvel, but I don't know. This is like a fun kind of spooky story. Definitely in the vertigo vein, uh, for sure. So I think that that's very cool. So, I mean, for the art alone, this is definitely worth checking out. It's kind of fun. I mean, Neil Gaiman, you know, uh, such a great prolific writer. And I can't think of a more appropriate uh, writer for Alice Cooper. So getting a little bit of uh, Barry Windsor Smith vibes in this. I love that kind of uh, texture and shadow and mood. So who knows? No spoilers here. Magenta pink candles. Very cool. Anyway, so I guess I don't know how this went, how long this went on for, if it was supposed to be a monthly series or just uh, a limited series. But hey, check it out. If you're an Alice Cooper fan, a Neil Gaiman fan, or a Michael Zuli or a Vertigo fan, I recommend it. Great covers by David McKeon. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you more later. All right, thanks guys.